my gosh, you guys, it is Super Tuesday. If y'all know me very, very well, this is a lot of makeup and this is a different look. I'm gonna go into details about this election year. Just kind of give you guys my thoughts and feelings because I am a first time voter this year and I'm just actually very excited because I've been keeping up with the debates and keeping up with what's going on. But you guys, I'm gonna be tooting and rooting my own version of the RuPaul's Drag Race season 12 looks this year. I have some favorites, I have some mm, whatever. So you guys keep watching. Let's get gorgeous, let's get stunning. Woo, you guys! It's good news if I start off a video smiling. I am officially a Morphe affiliate. I'm a Morphe babe, true, true Morphe fanatic. And right now, I need you guys' attention. Now, if you guys shop online at morphe.com or if you guys are in any of the stores, if you guys want to save 10% off, go ahead and use my name, Kimora, and save yourself 10% off. I'm so, so excited to be a part of the Morphe family. I'm so, so excited to be um, a part of a brand that has been moving forward, killing it, and literally just has been taking over the world, to be honest. And I'm so excited to be a part of a family that is just growing and literally ha it just has the best inspiration, the creativity. Even as a consumer, as a buyer, as a lover, I am a true, true Morphe babe. I'm a true, true Morphe daddy. So you guys go ahead and use my code at any motherfucking store and save 10% off. I'm so, so excited. Thank you so much to Morphe and thank you so much to the team for being so amazing. Um, I, I love you guys so much. But you guys, it's a look today. Today is super fucking Tuesday. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off this look by giving you guys a inspired election red white and blue kind of look on um, because today is a very very special day because we really do need to use our voting and we need to use our voices and we need to really go out there and make a difference because it is a huge deal and we're just gonna get into the tea we're gonna go ahead and talk about elections I might even bring out some RuPaul's Drag Race too because you guys have probably been waiting and hoping for me to talk about this I um, am very very excited for season 12 and I know they've had a an election inspired theme so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my own version toot and boot of this election look. I need to talk about this because there's some looks that I'm kind of like, Ooh, uh, but there's some gag look moments. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and get some blue eyeshadow on. I'm gonna pull out some really cool palettes that I loved in the past. This is the Blue Ya Away palette. It's the 18A, untouched. Fully blue, I know this came out with a collection of four of them, um, and I feel like this palette right here is gonna do me justice. So you guys, election year is now, and I just really am so, so excited to see where this election is gonna go. And now this year, I really, really educated myself in knowing a little bit more about politics. Um, I've never really been politic driven. Um, I just always been kind of like, yeah. And I think that's okay. And I and I feel like a lot of people really find their moments and their time where they choose to um, kind of care about it. One queen that I really do have to shout out is the legendary Miss Coco Montrese. Now, if you guys do not follow Coco Montrese on Facebook, I would say she is very dedicated to politics. She is definitely someone that you guys can follow. Um, and really uh, school yourself because she knows so much about politics and she has she's so passionate about it So literally the debates have been so crazy if you guys haven't watched it Obviously a lot of people have been like, you know what? I'm just gonna vote for like any of them which I can understand that because in this time We just really want Trump out of office But I also think it's really important for people to really know who they're voting for there are some Democratic candidates that are just kind of like mm girl really it's just important that we move forward as a country into the future and we just really make this place a better place especially now that there's so much shit going on we really need someone that is just really to the point now if you guys have not registered um i would definitely register it's not too fucking late so now basically just get out there and sign up and just vote literally i do it in the safe place of my home. Um, I don't really have time to go to a public library or like down the street at the park and wait in line, which I understand that is the experience. I don't need the experience. I really want to take this time to just vote in my own home with my partner and just really um, speak up. Because honestly, if you don't vote, you're really not doing anything. You don't even have the time and space to fucking sit there and say, oh, I hate this. No, because you didn't do anything. I really think people need to pay attention and just really educate themselves on what's happening in the world, 
And honestly, like, do you guys really want to go another four years with this guy? Like, seriously? Really? This is a joke. <sighs> that being said, um, yeah, so today we're going to go ahead and do a super, you know, just very normal, like, red, white, and blue look. I also want to take this time to thank everyone that has been tagging me in a silver eyeshadow look. Now, I print screen some of them, and I am paying attention, and I do see them, and I'm actually mind blown, because what I'm thinking of a silver and eyeshadow, look is is like silver black you know so the things that you guys have been tagging me on and I'm like oh, wow like silver eyeshadow okay we might even do that video this week I don't know we'll see we'll see you guys just literally have to pay attention and the only way to do that is if you guys subscribe right now the blue that I'm using as I'm talking is literally this color here and then I might even mix it with something lighter but I'm really trying to just stay super one color blue I'm not really trying to blend so many blues together um I did vote yesterday so today we are gonna go ahead and mail it out which I love that you can do it at home it's literally easy you do it at home mail it out you just drop it in the drop box and you're good I was a little team Pete um not because he's gay and I you know what it is when I see people write comments that oh he's gay I'm gonna vote for him is that is the only reason why you're voting for this guy I don't even think you're paying attention and also Amy dropped out which I wasn't really a really big fan of but um I just think it's especially for me as a first year first timer I I get so passionate because politics are so crazy and so aggressive what I'm seeing with the candidates is that they all really just are passionate about eliminating Trump out the office they're trying to move forward as of now I just really want to see the next four years like just super like amazing and I want people to just understand like if you do not vote you really cannot say much you know I meet people that would say like oh my vote doesn't count you know or whatever but I actually truly think it does so I just think people really need to sign up and do that I'm just gonna like really blend this blue in the inner corner because I kind of like it just like that very simple blue I mean can we just get a quick little clip of me and Miss Mayhem like I think we stole the show as Kim and Kanye so anyone that did not know that was actually uh, me and Mayhem posing as Miss Kim Kardashian West and Mr. Kanye West um literally that was like one of the most funnest day ever because we didn't have to say anything we just sat there and literally did selfies and chilled with Rue and Raven and Michelle and like it was just so much fun to be on that side of the runway i was so so like blessed to come back um obviously you guys are always so motherfucking surprised that i'm coming back with bitch let me tell you something do not sleep on me but you guys what do we think about the fucking queens before we start before i let these queens have it which i'm not really going to because i don't really you know i don't really care i love to always see a new batch of girls i know a lot of queens say that but they get all like scared about work and shit but let me tell you something girl. that does not matter there's always going to be someone new and younger and better so I always say like it's so great to see new queens in the business to see like where they're coming from who they are But can I just say this? I only know like three of them like I've never heard Like at least ten of them. I don't even know where they're coming from Bro, I forget that I really do love blue eyeshadow when I think of blue eyeshadow and red lips I literally think of like like 90s porn Pamela Anderson blonde hair blue eyeshadow with like red lips and just like a bronze body like I don't know why that or just like Wonder Woman like one of those two okay so as I'm blending this now the only three queens that I know and I actually really do adore Dahlia Sin which I'm actually a huge fan of I, I love Dahlia like Dahlia when I see Dahlia Sin I think of me she's so sexual she's just so like bougie and sexy and cunt and just very like in your face this is my drag I don't care she's very current like her fashion's current she got the baby hairs going on she got the body the silhouette she has that tan bronze skin and that's why like I see a lot Lot of me and her is that we really try to stay current to like the bougie trendy side of it you know she's not so like drag the next one I really do love this girl I've done many tours with her um, we were on a the Barbies tour we went to Portugal together we did New York together we performed together a lot is Miss Nikki doll I love Nikki doll I, I think Nikki doll to me has been one of the I want to say this before she was on the show um, I think Nikki doll is so beautiful I know she's super proud of where she comes from she's from Paris France I'm really excited to see Nikki doll just very proud of being from Paris, showing us Paris couture, and I hope she really stands up to that and really does that for you guys, because I really think we do need a breath of fresh air in fashion. I'm just so over the same fucking shit down the runway. I'm so over 
um, people saying they're original, but I'm like, girl, I've seen you before. And listen, I hate comparing queens to other queens. I just think if you resemble someone, I'm allowed to say you look like this person. And I'm just keeping it real. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it because I know a lot of people like to say because it's what people want to hear. I just feel like if you look like someone, you dress like someone, well, that's what you, that's what you look like. What, how, am I wrong? I'm not wrong for that. If she's watching this, Nikki doll, I'm so excited for you. I'm rooting for you. And I hope you just live your best life because you deserve it and I love you a lot. Now the next one, the first time I've ever met her was at Evita in LA, um, Miss Gigi Good. Girl, can we just gag on her right now? Like I feel like, I think out of all the girls on this season, she's gonna be the one that really stands out. I, I think Gigi Good stands out regardless, meaning like we don't know what she's gonna do. And I love that about a girl. Cause I don't really wanna sit here and know what you're gonna do. So I'm taking another shadow, you guys. I'm just gonna blur out the blue. Cause I'm gonna go in with like some stars. Oh wow, that's pretty. Oh, wow, okay, so that definitely made a difference. I took some blue shimmer and I just literally blurred this out. Ooh, that's so kind. So, blue's blurred out. I'm like so loving, 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 loving the shape. So taking silver eyeshadow, oh my God, I'm so scared. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so ugly. I'm gonna get this line a little thicker cause that silver eyeshadow was just, ooh, little intense for me, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and do my own version of the toot and boot quickly of the promos. My boot is, if I'm not into it, I'm not into it. I'm not gonna sit here and just give you like a mm. kind of boot. Let me tell you something. It's important to be very, very uh, blunt about this because season 12, you guys have seen this. You guys know what you guys are getting yourselves into. It is not season six, season five. Um, when you guys get on this show, you guys gotta give the fucking look. And I think as a promo, it's very, very, very important to give a look. That's that's like the first time you're showing the world who you are. This is what you're gonna be using on flyers. This is what you're gonna be using around the world. It's important. I don't care about your runways. I like a promo. I'm all about the promos. I look forward to the promos. Um, this is just my opinion as first look, this is what it is. Before I start with the stars, let's get into these looks. So first up, we have Miss Widow Von Du. Now shout out to your name because you have my name in your actual drag name. Now y'all know my actual government birth name is Von, V-O-N. Oh my God. Um, but let me just look at this. I'm gonna boot. This is a boot. I get what she's going. Um, I get what's happening. I can't stand the harness. I hate the hair. I love the sequin matching top and the red. I love like that whole vibe going on. I love that she's confident. The makeup, it, it's very, uh, it's not my favorite. I, like I said, it's a boot. As a queen showing to the world who she is, I don't really get this and I'm not really like sold. Next one is Miss Sherry Pie. Okay. I'm obsessed. I think this look is very, very like stunning. She to me like really represents like this election year. She's letting me know that she wants me to vote. And I'm like super, super excited. I love the hair. I would literally go buy an apple pie from her, to be honest. I would buy an apple pie because I think <laughs> she really wants me to go buy it. And this is definitely a toot. Um, so I'm excited to see where she goes and what she's gonna say because I hope she is funny. I love it, I love it, I love it. So the next one, I have my phone here, you guys. So the next one is Rock M. Sakura, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. That's just what I'm seeing and how I'm saying it. And I'm sure a lot of fans are saying that. I believe that this queen is from San Francisco. So I'm so, so excited to see a San Francisco queen on the show. Now, I know she's getting a lot of hate and a lot of comments about her taking Trixie Mattel's look. Y'all, calm down. So what are you going to call a queen that has a smoky on her nude lip? Relax. Calm down. Now let's go to get to the looks. I think this look is a definitely toot. This is a toot. Um, she's giving me almost like anime, Barbie, futuristic latex. She's giving me red, white, and blue, obviously. She's also giving me like a red, white, and blue Pikachu. I'm not a big fan of the makeup. I'm not a big fan of makeup like that. Um, and that's just me. I love makeup that's just like sexy and cute. So when it comes to makeup, like, all on guard and all like that crazy thing. I, I think it's nice. I just don't really care for it. That's just me. So I think this overall look is a toot. Next is my girl, Miss Nikki Daw. She looks stunning. She looks from, like she's from Paris. She's giving me um, super, super like fashion. She has like that nice, really meshy, meshy lace glove to kind of break up that structural like kind of uh, moment that she's doing. I love the hair. So like, bitch, here we go. Nikki doll work. Next one is Jan. I, I think this look is cute. I don't think it's, 
I'm kind of like whatever about it. It's definitely a boot for me. Um, for being a promo, shout out to the gorgeous little Barbie hair you have going on. Shout out to the dress. But it doesn't look customized. It doesn't look like this was like made for the promo. You know what I'm talking about? Like I think it could have been more elevated. I think having like an oversized blazer, like a satin blazer on top would be nice. Kind of hanging off the shoulder. If you're going to go with that blonde Barbie hair, I need to see some tees. Because let me tell you right now, this looks very wiggy. That hairline is hard. It's just not really oh my god dear. So Jan, I'll definitely be looking out for you and I can't wait to see you now those Damn mesh with the nail gloves. I am so over that shit. I'm so done with it I don't want to ever fucking see it. I would rather see a mesh glove without the nails That to me just screams very drag put it to rest get some fucking nails get sponsored um, get to something like I said I hate seeing a queen wearing something that I've seen before because now I'm gonna compare you and when I compare you I'm gonna tell you who did it better now <laughs> We don't want to go down that route. Next, Miss Jada Essence Hall. I'm actually very, very, very gagged. And this is exactly what I want to see on a promo. This overall look is letting me fucking have it. And so far, it's my favorite. Jada Essence, I love the pageant hair. I love the dress. Obviously, that's a breastplate. And a lot of people have been commenting that she shouldn't wear that big necklace. I like the necklace. I think it's giving me pageant. It's giving me queen. It's giving me, bitch, I'm here to give you like my accessory skills. I'm all about big tits. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna pause right there. But let me just get these fucking stars. Ah! Let me just get these stars on. This is the Urban Decay heavy metal in color midnight cowboy and i'm gonna just attempt to do stars oh, i don't even think this is gonna work i think i'm gonna do like a big star okay i've never done a star before oh my god i don't even know what to do that's not even showing what the hell urban decay oh i have to like dip it i think that's doing it right so you guys i'm just really starting slow i think that works now i'm just gonna do little stars like it doesn't really show on camera but i'm just literally drawing like a big star i thought the glitter was gonna show more i feel like it's fine it's not really showing as much as i want it to but whatever and then we're gonna take a brush with a white liquid liner or a white cream base or whatever. I'm gonna use a white cream product and just really draw like, kind of like a shooting star stripey kind of look. Um, so taking this, doing like a shooting star kind of thing. And then now what we're gonna do is that we are time for lashes. So now we have lashes on. I literally picked a lash that's a medium size. I'm not gonna really try to cover up the stars so much. What do you guys think? So cute. Ooh, this eye is like really, Letting me have it you guys. I'm like really obsessed with this side now Let's go ahead and do a very very soft highlight I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a Laura Mercier to kind of I always call it like the base highlight We always need a little base highlight right now this highlight from Jeffree Star. This is the extreme frost called gag me um, I'm gonna do keep it really blue, red white and blue So taking a little bit of a finger and just really applying that underneath that big star you just drew and then just applying it on this side. I always like to kind of take that highlight and blend it into the shadow, just like that. Now taking a soft brush, I'm gonna just apply some of this in the inner corner to really give it like this nice blue, festive, sparkly kind of moment. I'm like really obsessed with this already. Now taking a liner, I always like to go back with the liquid liner and just really like sharpen up that liner above the lash. So eyes are fully done. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of Morphe setting spray and just set this face. And then now let's go ahead and just let's toot and boot the rest of the looks. Obsessed with Miss Jada Essence Hall. Can't wait to see where you go. The look is gorgeous. I love that dress. That dress reminds me of Miss RuPaul in Tu Wong Fu. Very, very that. Um, next we have Miss Jackie Fox. Overall, this is a boot. I'm not really into this. I feel like when it comes to this look, it's a lot going on. I wish the sleeves weren't that print. I think it should have like a blue sleeve to kind of go with that blue bandeau. I love the hair. I will say the hair is really, really cute. It's uh, giving me like 60s mod kind of vibe. I can't stand the earrings. I feel like those are the earrings that you go to like a beauty supply store and you just like at the register waiting to get checked out and you just want to buy like a dollar pair of earrings but i get why the earrings go with the look i get like that 60s vibe I, um but overall it's a boot for me we have heidi in closet 
I like it. I, I'm not against it. I think this is a really, really cute look. It's giving me like diner's vibe. It's giving me like, I want to sell you like, you know, here's a little breakfast plate. Overall, is this like the worst? No, but it's a boot for me. I don't really think this is a promo look. Um, Next but not least, we have Miss Gigi Good. This is everything. She literally looks like a Toy Story doll like i'm like so into this this is like giving me nascar barbie formula one i love the hair i love the helmet i thank god she's not wearing the helmet i love it i love it i love it um next we have miss dahlia sin uh, this is my favorite this i would wear this she looks stunning the ostrich feather the stars she looks like a fucking superhero she looks like a sex vixen she looks just so like a porn star and i love it i love it i love it i've never seen baby hair like that before let me zoom up the baby hair looks it's a little different um do i hate it no but is it the best wig i think so far the best wigs is Gigi good dahlia sin this is a two this is a two 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 um next we have miss crystal method Ugh, this is a boot. I don't even know where she's going with this. It just looks like she's just wants to wear everything she owns. The necklace is an absolute no for me. I hate the dress. Um, the only thing I really do love is the hair. I love that hair because one, it stands out from everybody else. It just looks all over the place. I didn't think she had any guidance with this promo look. I'm actually going to keep my eye out for her and see where she goes because I don't know. I could be team at Crystal. Uh, but I just, I don't even like the name. Crystal Method? I just don't think anything that's related to drugs or anything that's like, like, drug influence is appetizing the name crystal method it's just kind of it's, it just gives me like a bad taste especially at this time of day in this culture like I don't want to hear that um, especially on TV like I'm kind of like mm, whatever so it's a boot not interested I love Miss Britta I don't know her she just looks so much fun this is giving me like Texas saloon the outfit it just looks so customed it looked like it was created for her it was inspired for her it was just I love this I'm giving her a fucking two that hair is perfection I don't even need to see the scalp because it's just so perfectly done and I'm, I'm obsessed I'm obsessed Breta you have a two last but not least we have Miss Aiden Zane I don't know I'm a little spooked. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared, but the outfit, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm not a big fan of the makeup. Not interested. Um, not my vibe. Not my kind of drag. Out of the bunch, she's really standing out. Um, I, I love the outfit more than the look. I love the ostrich cuffs. I love that it kind of gives me like this nice clown kind of feel. It's definitely telling me like she's going to be like that dark, at different kind of girl. Um, so I really, really do hope she brings it on. I hope she takes it downtown. So all my booted queens, you know what? I'm going to be looking out for you. Shout out to all my tooted queens. It is time for a red lip. I'm going to be using three different brands, three different products. We're going to go ahead and break down the red lip. I'm going to be using Wild Side liner from Morphe. This is like honestly like your perfect red liner. Um, it or just perfect blue undertone. I've always pulled this. This is my universal pencil. Second, I'm going to be using the color 1950 from House Laboratories. This is the Le Monster lip crayon they just launched and then I'm going to top it off with KVD Vegan Beauty in Tulip. So go ahead and take a liner and I'm going to go ahead and start to line my lips. Now you guys know I line my lips like really big. Taking out the 1950 Le Monster. These are the lip crayons and let's go ahead and blend in. Let's see, I was right. You don't need to line it in. Oh my God, I feel like I'm a superhero. All right, you guys, so I just cleaned it up a little bit and then now taking the KVD Vegan Beauty Gloss. This color is in Tula and now just applying and making sure that lip is super juicy. Look how perfect that looks now. Now lip is fully on, so, so excited. Now it's time for a wig. I will be right back with my democratic look. You guys, I am feeling my fucking democratic vibe. If you guys know me very well, well, you all know this is a hairline that I would never fucking grow out in public, but this shit is hard, but it's okay because you know what? I'm feeling my own democratic vibes right now, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And honestly, I really, really do hope you guys go out there and vote. It's not too late. Don't fucking vote because someone's telling you guys to vote, but just vote because you guys want to make a difference. If you guys are one of those people that are talking shit and not voting, um, I can't with you. In the meantime, you guys, go ahead and check out Morphe online or in stores. Use my code Kimura and get 10% off. I love you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in a few. I have a very, very, very special video out this Friday um, and I can't wait to share with you guys. So, mwah, I love you guys. Mwah.